How Gennady Golovkin shocked all of Japan with one blow. Perhaps Gennady Golovkin is not the most technical and inventive boxer in the world in defense. Even if reproaches in his direction for constantly inexperienced opponents have good reason. But, what exactly cannot be reproached for is his courage, fighting spirit, attacking, colorful style and the instinct of a real predator. As he finds his way from spot to spot. In this video, I will tell you about the toughest and most spectacular knockout from Gennady Golovkin. So be sure to watch video to the very end because it will be interesting. It was Golovkin's 26th professional fight, as well as the May 7th defense of his WBA middleweight title. In all of his previous 25 fights, he won 23 times by knockout. In all of his previous 25 fights, he won 23 times by knockout. Golovkin's opponent was the Japanese boxer Nobuhiro Ishida. Ishida, however, also had something to present in response to the Kazakh champion. First of all, great experience. The 37-year-old Japanese had 34 fights in the ring before this fight, of which he won 24, 9 by knockout. The finest hour of the Japanese came in 2011, when in the first round he literally destroyed the most powerful puncher James Kirkland. Who had previously won all 28 of his fights in just two minutes. And in May 2012, Ishida managed to resist the Russian Dmitry Perog. That fight in Moscow ended with the victory of the Rostovite, but only on points. Also, for the Japanese, oddly enough, such an anthropometric parameter as height spoke. Indeed, Ishida is taller than Golovkin by as much as 10 centimeters, but this circumstance did not bother Gennady at all. The final press conference dedicated to the show on March 30th was held in Monte Carlo. Both boxers showed respect to each other. And finally, it's time for the main fight of the evening. Nobuhiro Ishida! Ladies and gentlemen, Gennady Triple D Golovki! Ishida entered the ring full of desire to fight the champion. However, Golovkin did not stand on ceremony with the Japanese samurai. Later is one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound, 25 and 0. Is there going to be sufficient to come in? Uh, judging by the, the, public, the public training, training session training. that I witnessed this week, Pumlani, he, he, he's such a good fighter, this Golovkin. I have seen him before fight. as well. And as I said, a true From the first minutes of the fight, Gennady marked his superiority in the ring, going on a confident offensive. Pops the jab out. Oh, what a jab. Slips the, the jab. Slips the left hook. Great jab. Japanese accepted the fight and did not avoid direct attacks. This fight, this is my big moment. If he can take the WBA and the IB, Oh, middleweight championship. Ishida. A ah, good left hook from Ishida. Well, the bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. but he came into this fight with a flu blister. Yeah, at the, at the, at the training, he already had a. 
<laughs> but now if he's good GGG enough, is changing his attack. He wants to. The first two rounds were quite spectacular with a big advantage for Gennady Golovkin. WBA and IBO middleweight world championship. The great Marvin Hagler, former middleweight champion, is at ringside. And we spoke about it in the ring five minutes ago, what a good fighter Golovkin is. He step backward. He's standing his ground. Noble Hero missed a lot, but he held the shot well. Oh, that's gonna... That could land up. He's not going to be around for 12 rounds. Never been stopped before, in fact. And his best in shot. the world in the middleweight division. The fighters boxed at close and medium distances, threw out approximately the same number of punches. But the champion hit much harder and more accurately. Oh, what a right hand from Golovkin. Ishida says, bring it on. Oh, Golovkin has already found his right as early as the second round. And his timing perfect. The Japanese was a little taller, but Gennady looked more athletic. The level of technology was also striking. Golovkin. Oh, that it is again. Competitive confrontation did not work out and the knockout was only a matter of time. So accurate. Yeah, he's just taking From Ishida. They make do his job easier because they've just, as you said, standing in the middle of the ring. And, and it happened already in the third round. Where Ishida will be the loser. At the end of the third round, with a combination of blows from the left uppercut and the right hook, Gennady hit the Japanese opponent in the jaw and sent Ishida into a deep knockout. WBA in the RBO, middleweight champion. Oh, big right Over hand. The top. Wait for it. Boom. On the, the side. Chin. Oh, on the it's side. Right. Boom, there it comes. Down. Ishida flew over the ropes directly onto the referee's table and could not recover for a long time. He came to defend his title. He came to put on a fantastic di display. He's done just that. Referee Stanley Christodoulou did not even bother to count. Well, Pumlani had better to beat this guy for many years. This is the Manny Pacquiao of boxing in 2013. Golovkin. Oh, the WBA IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G. So Golovkin added his 26th victory and the 23rd toughest and most spectacular knockout in his career to his piggy bank. WBA in the RBO, middleweight champion. Oh, big right oh, hand. Stop. Wait for it. Boom, on the, the side. Oh, on the side. Boom, here it comes. 